autumn term at Colton Grammar School is always a very busy one. Our Year 7s have settled in extremely well and at the other end of the school our Year 13s are working hard towards their A-levels and their university applications. Many of our students have worked together this term in large groups to bring about things like the Food Bank Collection, the St Cecilia's Day Concert and recently the Footloose Production. We decided to do Footloose for our extended project, um, which is a research project that you do over the course of the end of year 12, um, beginning of year 13. So I was producing and directing. Um, and I was musical directing and producing as well. Um, and for me, um, musical directing is brilliant because I want to go on and do music at university. Um, and I'm interested in concert management and that side of things as a career path. I don't think I've ever done anything that required that so much, much organisation. Self-motivated. Yes, organization very self-motivated. Well. Yeah. You know, you don't have anybody else telling you you need to get this done. You know, we completely we had, had deadlines to... that we had to meet as well. Yeah. So that was a really good skill that I've kind of developed, um, which will be essential in any degree. Yeah, really. definitely. In November, two groups from Colleton travelled to London to take part in the Political Studies Association video competition. The theme for the competition this year was creating the ideal democracy and improving on the UK's current political system. We were invited to the House of Parliament where we were interviewed by a panel of judges including the Speaker of the House of Commons, John Burko. Our group came second in the competition and our video was highly commended. The Spin City we regarded as the strongest two and therefore is the runner-up today. And so you should raise your hands a lot in appreciation. technical hitches but overall I think it went pretty really well. We made loads of money for our whole house charities. Thank you very much for all your donations. Yeah thank you yes, everyone thank who you. came. Thank Good you. Um, sports leaders helps develop our communication and leadership skills, also helps develop our teamwork skills. You can really get employability skills so when you go to those university interviews you have a lot to talk about subjects and you have confidence when you're coming across to the interviews. They help the year threes and fours develop uh, their sort of core skills, movements. It helps them want to pursue a healthier lifestyle when they um, get towards the old years like we are. Um, earlier this term the under 15 school rugby team managed to reach the fourth round of the National Nat West Cup, which is better than any other side has done before for our school, so it's a really good achievement. Finally, can I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a restful holiday? <laughs>